This your boy Ryan, and yes, you are still tuned in to Rep Your Voice TV. We are still at the best studio in the nation, Ocean Way Studios in Nashville on Music Row. We at Studio C, as you can see, and yes, like I said, Craig King, he has been putting it down. Grammy status track is hot. We had singers, rappers coming through, blazing the track, but right now we're we'll gonna get to our first artist. Check out my boy Future from Biscuits and Gravy and check out what he has to say. Um, just a little bit about myself. I was born in uh, Gary, Indiana, originally, home to Jackson 5. Woo -woo. But uh, what we did, uh, we ended up moving to Nashville when I was about eight years old, and we've been living here ever since. And I used to do a lot of public speaking and such, so that's how I used to uh, get a lot of experience on stage and being in front of crowds and such. And about my junior year of high school, maybe that's when I really started getting serious about music. Started my first band, um, then I got into this band that I'm in now, Biscuits and Gravy. And we've been playing a lot around town and such. And, uh, and now I'm at Belmont University and just hoping to further music. Music influence, per se, I guess initially that came from my dad, because my dad plays saxophone. So just growing up, I used to see him all the time playing sax around the house. I would ask him to play a song or something, he'd just pick it up and start playing it. So I started getting involved in instruments and I started playing saxophone, a little bit of keyboard. And that's when I decided I really wanted to go to college and take up music business. So that's why I decided to go to Belmont University. And um, now my goal is uh, to further myself as an artist and to really get as far as I can um, with the business side, uh, with doing anything with the label. So I'm currently trying to see what my options are with that. If you had to classify it as a genre, I guess it would be hip hop and R&B artists. But I really try to think outside the box as in terms of the type of music I do. Um, I do a little bit of producing and stuff and a lot of writing. And being in Belmont, especially being in Nashville, it's not a lot of hip hop and R&B, which makes it good for us. But at the same time, I still like to be, you know, you know, dabble a little bit in all the different types of stuff like rock. Maybe not so much country, but who knows? <laughs> but, you know, just different genres. And as far as education for music, um, I started taking band in my freshman year of high school and started playing saxophone in a band, and that was good. It was really jazz, it was really jazz oriented. But uh, after that, um, training with basic instruments and such, besides that, just playing around different venues and different shows, it was really just um, experience training. Because you know, a lot of times school can't teach you how to do a lot of stuff, it's just experience and everything. I've always worked with youth organizations. Um, I was with the Mayor's Youth Council when I was in high school and we did a lot of projects with people like the Oasis Center and the Nashville Prevention Partnership. So I'm a firm believer that it is good for people in high school, for youth and such to be involved, um, just to have their voice heard, just to be able to um, be a part of organizations that make decisions that are geared towards youth. Um, a lot of times people think the issues in the world today are just geared towards uh, adults and everything like that, but really it starts with us because if we're not trained and if, we don't, if we're not equipped with dealing with such issues and when we get older, it's not really gonna get any better. Craig King. <laughs> uh, we've had a lot of experience working with Craig King recently, which I think has been a blessing for us, uh, for my band, Biscuits and Gravy, that is. Uh, we met him when we played at Kanye West After Party last year, I believe, and we met him up on the balcony with Kanye. And uh, after that, our manager uh, created a contact with him and it was just networking. He came back to Nashville, uh, had a new artist he was working with uh, called Julian, and a business engraver. We backed up for him at a show at Love Noise. And through that time, through the rehearsals and stuff, we really got to know him. And even at this very studio at Ocean Way, we recorded, a, uh, we recorded part of our EP, which is probably going to be about uh, three or four songs. And he came in, gave us input, gave us advice on it about his advice. Um, just about him being in the industry for as long as he has been. So it's been really a wealth of knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, he's just really excited to work with us and we ought to do the same. So we're excited to see where it's gonna lead to. Advice for any aspiring musicians, artists, or anything, um, really, really network. Really network, uh, meaning meet anybody that you know who's doing anything in the music industry. If it's somebody at your church who plays keys and you want to be a keyboard player, talk to him, ask whatever advice. Advice is always the best thing. Talk to the people and build those relationships because relationships are always those things to help get you to the next level. It's not always about who you know, but that is a very important part of it. Just talk and get advice from whoever. 
as in terms of the Nashville youth, I just want to say um, I always take any opportunity that you have to get your voice heard, any opportunity that you have to uh, let people take notice. That's the best thing. A lot of times people try to shut up the youth, <laughs> like honestly. So if you can do anything to get your voice heard, take advantage of it.